the patients that come to RFC, um, you know, they tend to be low income, immigrants, homeless even. And, you know, a lot of these patients don't have health insurance and they consistently rely on um, our clinic to provide them free basic healthcare services that they depend on um, every other week. And knowing this um, further motivates me to continue fun coming and continue volunteering so that we can provide them a positive patient experience. All the time growing up, I've been involved in service and that's even why I'm going to school I'm going to currently because the mission is service. So now getting an opportunity to serve here is a clinic that serves directly serves the community and it's free, you know. And being part of that, being part of you know interacting with patients, learning and serving at the same time, it's the it's a great thing. Um, I think the people that I've met here and everybody has been so friendly and nice and professional. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy coming here. I love being here. I just love the entire environment of the old clinic. Um, seeing the patients uh, brightens my day. Um, even when it's a really tough case, uh, you walk away from it knowing that you did something that mattered. Serving at RFC makes me feel like I'm able to support those who may not have support at home or um, around them and it really helps not only with their mental health but their physical health as well. Just as long as they know they're not alone and we can help them in any way that we can, I think that's really important to the community. My second year at Riverside Free Clinic, I was the Stress Relief Committee Officer and um, our committee had hosted a class where a pa where two patients attended, a mother and a daughter. And it was because of the environment um, that we had provided as committee members, the safe space that essentially led the daughter to understand that she was experiencing depression. And from that point on, we were able to lead her to the right resources and to have her talk with Redlands Counseling in addition to her mother so that she could understand how to you know, best manage her depression in addition to her mother going through Redlands counseling sessions to understand the best way she could provide social support for her daughter to go through this experience. And it's just really amazing to be able to have been a part of that experience to change someone's life. Well, bastante es que eh, me han dado mucha atención médica La gente muy cordial, muy amable, este, ah, tienen un, un sistema muy, muy agradable para el paciente. Es mucho, para mí es mucho. Um, I think for me it's um, really the work and the, the mission and the vision of um, RFC. And it's really to reach out into um, the community that needs it the most. And, you know, we are at the heart of um, downtown Riverside, you know, this is where a lot of the people really need the care. Um, I think the client care um, and in the integrated model that the clinic uh, proposes with all the different um, aspects of the students and what they're learning and their profession and integrating that all together is what really interests me to keep coming back. Community is everything. Um, humans are social beings. Um, we interact with each other on a daily basis. People learn from each other by watching each other. People learn from each other by interacting with each other. And it's by working together that the community grows. Um, when everybody is giving to everybody else, everybody elevates at the same time. So um, yeah, community, working together, living together, being together. That's, that's how important it is. I think communities are important because they allow you to do more than individuals could do on their own. Um, communities bring people together for something um, bigger than themselves. But it allows me to have a place where I can get my prescriptions uh, consistently and keep myself healthy without having to, you know, put myself in a position where I'm going to make myself ill or cause major problems with my heart and things like that. And uh, it's just a good place 
it's a bit of a benefit. It's basically, like you said, the community and society and everything like that, it helps a lot of people stay healthy or get healthy again. Without your love and support of our mission, um, the Riverside Free Clinic wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be able to help as many patients as we, as we have today. Um, there are many families in need and without the Riverside Free Clinic, they would have nowhere else to turn to um, within a, such a close proximity to them. I'm just grateful that the donors make it possible for people like me or even people that are less fortunate than me that they're able to get health care and keep donating keep donating please uh, this clinic is such a beautiful thing it's actually my favorite part of pharmacy school i say that to everybody who comes uh, and just keep keep the donations coming because without the donations this wouldn't be possible for us north for the community so i really appreciate your community allowing me to be a part of it